Hey everyone, welcome back to another Miami Breaker 305. This time I am opening up Tops Super Box. Top Super Box, which uh, all you guys have uh, op seen on YouTube, some opened up. Um, I've purchased a couple of these um, exclusive silver, silver pattern full ball cards. Um, they come with a loose card inside. Uh, the loose card that it came with is the Vitima Guerrero's. Nothing special about it, but it looks fun. I've seen a lot of people open these up. They look so much fun. I think they're going something with this. Um, if they can do one for Bowman, it's pretty cool. Um, I was able to pull this out without messing it up. This is this is just really awesome. Julio Rodriguez, one of the best players. Uh, Gail and Phenom coming out. Um, the oversized card, I guess they're calling it. Aaron Judge, um, love Judge, great player, had 62 last year or 63, I can't remember, but um, all you guys know, it comes with one of these little pins, uh, the full cards here that you saw uh, with Ali Rushman, I uh, ended up buying two or three of them, uh, it comes with these packs that are uh, kind of glued on, <clears throat> as you can see, oops, um, oh, dropped over All right, guys, bear with me. Just so much stuff. So, you know, it comes pretty much glued on. So, uh, opening them, it's a little tricky. I saw uh, Jabs opening them up like this. That way he didn't have to uh, kind of pull out the glue out of each one, just which is a good idea because I've seen everybody else try to open them up. I actually unglued them first. So you're pulling the cards out and mess damaging the, the edges. So... We'll do that. We'll start off with that. I think that was a really good idea. And uh, hopefully we pull something awesome. But I got to tell you, I, I did this because everybody that's doing it, uh, it looks freaking fun, man. Uh, bought a couple of boxes that I paid well over $60 and um, just a waste of time to me. Uh, you might get a value card or not, but it's still you didn't get nothing really too exciting about. Um, so, pretty cool, you know, the way Jabs did it. Figured out how to open them without damaging any cards. I thought that was really cool. I'll do the same thing on this side. And put them to, the, to my right. That was pretty cool how he did it. So, I'll go ahead and continue doing that. Again, the... The cards that is loose was the Vitamin Guerrero. I got his rookie cards. Love that guy. Love his year with all the Bobby, um, Bo Bichette, Luis Robert, um, all those guys that came out. That year was awesome. Pete, Pete Alonso, the polar bear. So that was a good year for rookies that are still actually still playing at a phenomenal level Tatis uh, which is gonna have a great year as well I really do I bought into uh, Pete's uh, I'm sorry I bought into um, Tatis rookie year buying all his cards the only thing I don't have is any of his autos way too expensive even when he had that issue going on with the PED they were still still expensive so all right, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, start with this pack right here. Go up, always pull out the rookies here, Brett Betty. The Mets are really not <clears throat> staying in the race. Well, they're in the race, just not uh, you know, doing what they were supposed to be doing as far as winning. Here's O'Neill Cruz, rookie card. I'm sorry, uh, second year card, future stars. There's the Beast right there, Ali Rushman. There's Pete Alonso. Keep those two guys. Here's a backwards card of uh, Blue of Dodger Stadium. Uh, tops, uh, Brian Baxton, who homered yesterday. All right, let's keep it going. Sue Sanchez, second year card, Jacob DeGrom, Cody Bellinger. All right, let's, there's a rookie, found a rookie right here, Christopher Morrell. Another rookie, San Diego, San Diego was playing um, 
in Mexico yesterday. And boy, what a home run derby that was for that uh, city that was hosting it in Mexico. They had a treat. I think it was like 10 home runs. Uh, David Villar. Shohei. This is a nice one. Anything Shohei, I love keeping. That guy already did, is doing things in the league that uh, nobody's capable of doing, man. man. When you have that type of player as a baseball fan, because um, you, you don't see that, it's pretty amazing. I ended up buying Trevor Rogers' uh, uh, was an auto relic card. Um, I think I bought it for like 40 bucks. And uh, he continues winning, continues doing good. You know, hopefully his prices go up. There's Sandy. He did good on the last recent one because he boy he was been getting hammered. William Contreras. There's uh, Jonathan Aranda. More of the. Ooh, I got Wonder. Bobby Witt Chrome. That's a nice one. That is nice. All right, so love my uh, stars of MLB. It's one of my favorite one collecting. I have a lot of last year's stars on MLB. The, I guess the first start of them that I really like collecting them. There's a Swaldo Perez, Peraza. I don't think he's been doing much, but uh, I did end up getting his graded card because you never know. You invest to make, you know, because you, you believe in the player. Seiya Suzuki, boy. I seen right now the Marlins playing uh, Chicago Cubs. And Seiya Suzuki, uh, compared to players, he's huge. He's pretty massive, dude. I got to tell you, man. Um, didn't really didn't really buy too much into his uh, rookie season. But, um, man, I see why people like him. He is a stud, man. He's huge. So... Definitely buy into that. There's Gunnar Henderson. This is a nice one. That is nice. Stars on LB. CJ Abrams is nice with the Nationals uniform now. Glad they have that. Mitch Hanniger, David McKinnon. Uh, Kyle Stores. There's Wonder. Second year card. Clinton Kit Kershaw. We had lights out yesterday. Oscar Gonzalez. I'm going through it to see what we get. Here is a backwards cards of Mike Trout. Ooh. Nice. Jose Ramirez. Can't wait for his card to come in. Um, hopefully I get it. It's a redemption card I got. Um, first time from uh, Top Series 1 Jumbo. Got a redemption auto. Um, I think it was red or orange. There's a no, nice one that I've been collecting. Judge, Strout, and Alvarez. Love seeing those. And of course, I love collecting mines. Here's uh, Luis Arias. Now with the Marlins. There's Judge and Bogarts. And then Jazz Chisholm, one of my favorite Marlins player, Collecting all Marlins. Alright, that was uh, the first pack. So far, so good. I really didn't... Didn't see any disappointment. There's Brandon Lowe, <clears throat> second year card. Actually, no, this is the, the different Lowe. Josh Lowe is the rookie from last year. There's Judge, mini card and uh, big card. That's pretty cool. I actually want to get a frame to, of that. There's Ivan Herrera's rookie card. Bunch of rookies on this one. Hopefully, we get some some good one. Willen Contreras. Silver board, foil board, I guess you can say. Nolan Gorman's tops, not bad. I'll hang on to those. Right, let's see what else. Josh Naylor, Christian Vasquez. Let's see what else rookie we get. I saw a uh, Jabs video today. I guess he went to Walmart, found a bunch of uh, a bunch of these packs and um opening one of them i thought it was pretty cool i go let me do it i mean there are a few i guess i'm gonna buy at least two more of these this, this is fun to open uh, i mean i'll go jumbo definitely definitely go jumbo 
Here's Baxton, uh, Baron Baxton, who's actually hitting home runs, so cool to keep that one. And there's uh, Vitamir Guerrero, <clears throat> Josh Smith. I definitely want to do it again. This is fun. All right. This is card looks like it's yellowed or somehow. Stephen Kwan's Gold Cup. Alright, Ozzy Bias. This guy's a beast, man. Atlanta knows how to draft players and uh, develop them. Uh, it's easy to... Um, it's easy to draft them, but develop them is what um, a lot of teams struggle doing, man. And Atlanta seems to have the key to that. And every time you have a coach or a developer that does that, he don't last long. There's Gunnar Henderson, one of the top guys. Um, not doing too good, but at least he's there. He wasn't there before. So here's Julio. Oh, let's see who we get. Frank Thomas, nice. And uh, Alex Bergman. Alicantra, yours, and Freed. Freed is a beast, man. Jesus Christ, is that guy phenomenal. He destroyed Miami, man. They didn't allow, I mean, they almost went seven, um, eight innings with no hits. There's Marcus Wilson from Seattle, rookie. Fernando. Fernando Tatis. Hang on to Fernando. Love Fernando, man. I know there's a Jordan offer. It's got a lot of his Jordan offer his card. Um, Trevor Stories. <clears throat> uh, one Two Punch. Max Schroeder and Steven Strasberg. There's uh, Javier Baez who's struggling. Brandon Hughes. There's Ronald Acuna. Another beast the, the Braves have. Michael Harris. They're loaded and still got rookies coming in, replacing the uh, older guys. Lenny Losa. I mean, the good thing about Braves is that not only are they developing, not only are they doing good, they're keeping they're keeping them. You know, they're signing them, they're they're um, putting them to contract gears, and um, it's exciting to see that. Which is, is you know it's hard for um, for teams to do uh, payroll wise. Uh, the Yankees can do it. Dodgers can do it easy for them with the money uh, the Mets new ownership you know not everything can do that I mean look at San Diego all that money and uh, they really haven't done much Ooh, uh, Jordan Alvarez Jose Ramirez Gunnar Henderson let's go and Fernando Tatis all right exciting Gunnar Henderson man let's just, he just needs to put it together so what a what a an amazing rip so that I love that rip that was amazing and put all these cards together because I'm about to um, um penny sleeve them excited penny sleeve all these cards especially rookies I love hanging out to my rookies guys um, don't don't get I don't really get rid of them uh, only get rid of them when uh, it's time to move on from them because there's nothing else so really excited so I guess for me it's, I'm hanging on to a lot of the cards that I love rookies I started with MLB um, foil boards which is freaking awesome so I'm definitely buying more love these oversized cards uh, they get it came with this so I kind of like love this whole new setup I have now oh and I forgot it comes with this little um, piece of uh, or something like that and it's extremely difficult let me get a scissor guys <clears throat> comes with a pin uh, I'm gonna open this one but I'm gonna save the the rest it's a uh, Juan Soto uh, I I think it's a Juan Soto I can't tell can't read it it's hard to tell but it looks like a Juan Soto outfield so definitely hanging on to that um, pin that's it guys that was uh, the, this box I love it 
looking to buy two more and probably a couple of more and then saving them and uh, opening up in other videos uh, because uh, buying jumbo man two hundred dollars is uh, a little bit too much I'll wait till they go down in prices nobody's really buying into them stadium club chrome is the best Bowman draft just came out and I'm telling you in Miami there's never nothing Tampa there's never anything but tops chrome um, what do you call it up uh, um, draft Bowman draft 2023 it's fully stocked I mean I'm talking about so many the price is uh, not what you're willing to pay for that but if you're a collector if you're um, a youtuber that loves opening these up I advise go check it out there's a, there's so many of them all right guys uh, this is uh, my video hopefully you enjoyed it I'm gonna be buying a couple more packs for you guys and I'll them here thank you for tuning in and you guys have a great one